Hello guys. So in this session, we are going to learn how to install and secure Redis on Ubuntu 22.04 LTX. So let's start. So here I mentioned some steps to install Redis first of all, and then how to secure. So let's start. So first of all here, prerequisite. So first of all, we need Ubuntu instance 22.04 LTX. So you can see here, I have successfully launched one instance and after that the second prerequisite is we need access terminal command line and we need the sudo or root privilege. So here you can see we have successfully logged into our terminal and here we have sudo privilege. Okay. So now Let's start. So first of all, we need to install Redis. So for that, Redis package are available under the default APT repository for the installation of Redis on Ubuntu. So for that, we need to run this command. So before install Redis, so first of all, let's understand the Redis or what is Redis. So Redis is a data store that can store key value data structure on memory and this by optimizing the rapid creation of application through the availability of very versatile data structures. And moreover, you can use it as NoSQL database or even a message broker with the PubSub pattern. And Redis is written in C programming language. So that's the short uh, information about Redis. So here, Let's start to install Redis on Ubuntu. So first of all, as you know, we need to update our system package. So as you know, the command, so the command is sudo apt update. It's done. So let's clear the screen. And after that, let's install Redis. So install Redis, we are going to use this command, sudo apt install redis-server. So yes. Okay, it's done. So we have successfully installed Redis on Ubuntu. Okay, it's done. Now next is if you want to check the version of Redis. So we are going to use this command to check version Redis hyphen server hyphen V. So you can see the details about your Redis. Okay, now let's clear the screen first. Now, next is configure Redis. So here Redis can start without a configuration file using a built-in default configuration and I'm going to make any extra parameter exchange. So you can use this configuration file. Here the location, you can see slash redis slash redis slash redis dot configuration. So we are going to edit, edit this redis configuration file. So you can use your favorite or editor. So I'm going to use nano here to edit this configuration file. Okay, it's open. Now you can see here, first of all, configure here. So for Ubuntu, we can safely select the system D as the supervised so that Redis can interact with your supervision tree. So you can use its configuration file in this configuration file. So for that here, let's scroll down. Okay, here. here you can see supervised and here we are going to enter, we need to enter 
this image. As you can see here in my screenshot, here I mentioned, you can see. So, okay, it's done. Now, the next changes is here, binding to localhost. So, by default, the Redis server doesn't accept remote connection. So, you can connect to Redis only from this localhost. So, here, we need this bind IP address. So, as you know, if I scroll up, So here you can see, okay. After that, the next is, okay. So I'm going to save this configuration file and exit. And as you know, after changes any configuration file, we need to restart our server. So how to restart? Sudo. System CTL start Redis server. Okay, let's check the status. You can see it's running. Okay, now let's clear the screen. Now the next step is here verify Redis is listening all interfaces on port number 6379. So let's run this command and check. Okay, it's done. You can see 6379. Okay, let's clear the screen. Now, after that, let's configure password. So for that, we need to open our configuration file. So let's open configuration file, the sudo nano and the location of Redis configuration file. And here we need to go to the secure, so, sorry, security. So let's scroll down and go to the security, say, security section. Replication. Then it's key tracking. Okay, it's security. Okay, now let's scroll down. Okay, and here. Here you can see require pass, means require password. So I'm going to uncomment this line and here that here I'm going to set my password requires password. So I'm going to enter my password DevOps send and let's save the configuration file and exit. And as you know, after changes in any configuration file, we need to restart server. Okay, let's check the status. As you know, the command sudo system CTR status okay it's active running okay let's clear the screen okay it's done so we have successfully configured our password so we can see here configure a redis password enable one of its two built-in security features and the auth command which require client to authenticate to access the database and it, you can use its configuration file okay, as the location okay now we need to restart the server okay we have successfully restarted now let's install php extension so it's optional you can see so if you need to use Redis with PHP application, so you need to install Redis PHP extension on your Ubuntu system. So to install, you can use this command to install your PHP, sorry, PHP extension. And after that, then the installer will automatically enable the Redis extension for all the pre-installed PHP versions. And if your installer new PHP version after this, so you can use the 
below command here. Okay, so it's optional. After that, connect to Redis server. So now let's connect to our Redis server. So how to connect? So the command is here. Redis hyphen CLI. Okay, so you can see the port number 6379 and the IP address. Okay, now let's enter the command here auth and your password that we have set. If it's correct, then it will give us okay. And after that, when we enter ping, it will give us pong. So let's see. So let's enter auth and your password that we have uh, that we have entered in configuration file. So we have entered DevOps hint. Okay, let's enter. If it's correct, then it will, it will give us okay. Okay, now if I enter ping, then you can see it will give us pong. That means it's done, right? Okay, so we are successfully connected to our Redis server. After that, here managing the Redis services. That means if you want to stop your Redis server, then you can stop using this command. If you want to start Redis server, you can see this command. So let's stop first. So first of all, here from this Redis server, how to uh, log out? So enter command exit. It's run. Now let's check the status first. You can see it's running. Okay. Now let's stop. So as you know the command, sudo systemctl stop redis server. Okay, let's check the status. You can see it's inactive date. That means stop. Okay. Now let's start it. So let's start. So how to start? So the command is sudo systemctl start redis server. And let's check the status. You can see it's active running. Okay. So now, so as you know the command here, if you want to uh, disable your service, then you can disable the server using this command. If you want to enable your service, then you can use this command. If you want to check the status, then you can use this status. So that's the some commands, some basic commands. So in this video, we have learned how to install and secure Redis on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. So thank you for watching.